Welcome to this video training for vaginal swab specimen collection with the Cobos PCR Media Dual Swab Sample Kit. Your laboratory partner has made the decision to adopt Cobos Sexually Transmitted Disease Testing Solutions from Roche Diagnostics. The following information will help to ensure optimal specimen collection for use with the Cobos CTNG and or TVMG tests. Cobos STI testing solutions enable detection of chlamydia trachomatis, Neisseria gonorrhea, trichomonas vaginalis, and or mycoplasma genitalium in both symptomatic and asymptomatic patients. Adoption of these tests requires only minor modifications to your current specimen collection procedures while offering numerous clinical benefits to both you and your patients. First, both COBOS, CTNG, and TVMG were designed to support diagnostic testing recommendations from the CDC. Secondly, these assays deliver accurate results through their unique control and target design strategy. And lastly, COBOS STI testing solutions underwent a robust clinical validation and exhibit strong analytical and clinical performance. As with any laboratory test, reliable results depend on proper sample collection, storage, and handling procedures. The following are specimen collection best practices to help ensure accurate results with COBOS STI testing solutions. Patients should have nothing in the vagina for approximately 24 hours before their appointment. Therefore, no intercourse, vaginal creams, douching, suppositories, etc as these may affect test results. Similarly, the use of lubricants should be avoided prior or during specimen collection when possible. If using lubricant is unavoidable, a carbamer-free product should be applied sparingly. Alternatively, lukewarm water may be used to warm and lubricate the speculum versus a lubricating gel. Specimens containing excess blood should be discarded and not submitted for testing. Consult with your laboratory partner for questions or guidance regarding allowable concentrations of blood in samples to prevent false negative and or invalid test results. Now let's take a closer look at your Cobos PCR Media Dual Swab Sample Kit. The Cobos PCR Media Dual Swab Sample Kit is used to collect and transport endocervical and vaginal swab specimens. All unopened kits should be stored at 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. Once added to the Cobos PCR media, the specimen is stable for 12 months when stored at 2 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. When collecting vaginal specimens, the media in the Cobos PCR media tube serves as a nucleic acid stabilizing transport and storage medium for gynecological specimens. The polyester woven swab is used for vaginal specimen collection. The flocked swab is not needed and should be discarded. Use this swab only when collecting endocervical specimens. The following section provides instructions for vaginal swab specimen collection. Please note, do not pre-wet the swab in Cobos PCR media before collection. In one hand, hold the woven swab with the score line above your hand and insert the swab about 5 cm, 2 inches, into the vaginal opening. Gently turn the swab for about 30 seconds while rubbing the swab against the walls of the vagina. Withdraw the swab carefully. Do not let the swab touch any surface before placing it into the collection tube. Remove the cap from the Cobos PCR media tube and lower the swab specimen into the tube until the visible score line on the swab shaft is aligned with the tube rim. The bud of the swab should not be submerged into the liquid prior to breaking the shaft. Carefully leverage the swab against the tube rim to break the swab shaft at the score line. Lastly, tightly recap the Cobos PCR media tube. The specimen is now ready for transport. Discard the top portion of the swab. Here are a few final reminders to help facilitate sample integrity and accurate results. A properly collected specimen should only contain one swab. In the case of vaginal collection, the woven swab. 
the specimen may be rejected by the lab in the event of two swabs within the same tube, no swab within the tube, or excess blood, as described earlier in the presentation. Please adhere to your standard practice for correctly labeling a specimen with the proper specimen label and or patient identifying information. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any further questions regarding vaginal swab specimen collection with the Cobas PCR Media Dual Swab Sample Kit, please contact your laboratory partner or local Roche Diagnostics representative.